Now, Dan, I want to shift gears and talk about Twitter in the hot seat. Obviously, its lack of security measures continuing to make headlines. We know that the former head of cybersecurity, Peter Mudge-Zatko, testified before Senate on Tuesday. What can we expect from Twitter's security policies going forward? Yeah, I mean, Zatko really laid out a uh, pretty damning testimony here, uh, basically saying that, you know, Twitter doesn't have uh, the kind of basic security capabilities that any major tech company would have in place. Said something like 30 percent of Twitter employees' devices don't have some kind of management software on them or security software uh, on them. Too many people have access to too much data. Uh, you can find out anything you want about somebody uh, with the, the click of a few keys if you are an employee and you don't even need access to that kind of data. So really just kind of laying into Twitter and its inability to protect the data that you provide to them. And so I think what we're going to see going forward is, you know, Twitter's already responded saying that uh, Zacco's testimony was loaded with uh, inconsistencies, inaccuracies, everything along those lines. But I think going forward, there's going to have to be some kind of move from them to regain public trust at this point and show, look, we do have security in place. We're putting security in place and we will keep your data safe. It's certainly a concern here for a lot of uh, Twitter users out there. All right, Dan Halley, thanks so much for giving us the update on that.